Welcome to Fido Gets Dressed and today we will be learning about clothing items and I want to show you how to make a very easy game that I use in a lot of my presentations because it's a really easy game to make. So let's get into that. So let me show you the game. Over here we have this guy saying that you must say the word out loud. Kids love this. <laughs> it's just an interesting one. So can you say what is this? What is this? It's a scarf. I hear you say. Very good. Okay, what is this? What is this? Can you can you tell me? Yes, it's a sweater. Very nice one. Over here we've got the sunglasses. Thank you in the back there. Really good. Okay, what do we have here? What is this? It's a hat. Yes, thank you. And what do we have here? It's a cape. Thank you very much. So as you can see, you can uh, move this around. I can play the sunglasses. I can just play them again by literally just pressing the left arrow and then the right arrow again, pressing the left arrow twice and then the right arrow takes me to the previous one. Or if I want to go back to the beginning, I just press the arrow five times or however many pictures you have displaying in your game. So let's get into how to make the drop-in game. In PowerPoint. <laughs> now in PowerPoint I let's create a blank slide that I've got over here and as you can see if I zoom out I've got all of the pictures prepared that we're gonna need for this game so a very good thing before you start making any game get all of the pictures together in one place or you can download them as you go I had these pictures from over here right where I'm reviewing the keywords I just copied and pasted them to the slide over here put them outside of the window so that I can move them wherever I want to. So let's get this guy in here already. Okay, so this guy, I want him to stand over here. So place him in his place and get the words that he must scream to just fit in there. So if we go a bit closer, uh, this is just a normal word art that I have from here. Um, so we have them in the right place and looking good. So first select this guy and then we want to add some animations to him. The first one is fly in that I've got and to get him to shake a bit to make it look like he is screaming and very angry I like to add a tether or teether animation I'm never really sure how to pronounce that so as you can see he's gonna shake a bit and I like to right click on this and say start after the previous that will create this guy to come in and shake a bit while he's saying these words I also like to right click on this uh, go to timing and Maybe repeat this, so if it says repeat, I like to repeat this two or three times. I'm just gonna make it three times, you'll see now why. Uh, after this, I want to have the words wipe in. So I'll click on the words, I'll click on add an animation, and I'll click on uh, not fade, wipe. So we click on wipe, go to uh, not to transitions, to animations over here, because I want the wipe to be from the left. So click on effect options and click on wipe from the left. Uh, this you want to also say right click start with previous that will make it start on that side uh, just make this longer so that it matches this one and then right click timing and we want to go to repeat also repeat that three times that will look something like let's see if we play the presentation and you'll see the guy will come in and everything he will be screaming say the word loud now and then from there it's really as it's uh, from there it's quite an easy one now you can select which one do you want first I put the scarf uh, first so I place the scarf over there go to animation and what we need to do now is you really only have to design the entrance of the first picture uh, you'll see why we can literally just copy and paste the animations to the rest of them and then we're gonna be done so it's really as easy as that select animations we want fly out animation so we want to go to the exit animations and we want fly out but as you can see <laughs> that's way too fast for a game like this uh, seven to eight seconds works really good so let's just put it on I'm gonna put it on seven to eight also depending on the age of the uh, of your students this is for this is a presentation that I'm using in kindergarten so I want to really leave a gap uh, let's just see this one play from this one let's just have a look to see if it's gonna what's how long is it gonna be that is a bit far, I can maybe even make it a bit slower. I know it seems slow now, but in the present or in the lesson, for the younger kids, it's a, it's a, it's better if it's a bit slower. You can always left and right click while it's happening, uh, but you'll see it. You can really, you can gauge this while you are, while you are busy. You know your age, you know the kids that you're teaching, so you can make this faster for older kids. And there we are, that's, that's it. So now, what you want to do, Click on your scarf, click on animations tab, come double click on the animation painter, 
click on the sunglasses, click left again, click on the hat, left click again, click on the scarf, left click again, click on the sweater, left click again, and click on the boots, and left click again, and you are done. And there you are. Press escape, and all that's left to do now is to literally move these in place where you would like them to be. So let's move the glasses. I like to get them in the middle of the screen. The hat can be over here. Uh, the cape all the way to the right. Wherever, I mean, this you can place however you feel you want them. The sweater, you can just put that over there. And that's it. There we are. Let's play the game. So as your guy comes in, you can get them, hype them up. Say it loud. Say it loud. Yeah, say with me. And then I want to know who can tell me what is this? Oh, something else we forgot to do. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But now you can you note that this guy is still here. <laughs> we don't want this guy in the middle of the screen while we are actually playing the game. So let's remove him or let's just add an animation to get him to go away. So to do that, click on the guy, hold control down and click on the words because we want both of this to be removed from the screen. Then click on add animation and click on fly out. You do that, both of them will just be removed. However, you need to move this up because at the moment it won't work, it will only work at the end, but you want this to happen before the pictures come down. If we play this now, okay, and there we are. So as you can see, your game is working perfectly. If I remove that, here we go. There's the scarf. And after that, the sunglasses we can wait for it to go down but if they get it right move on say there's the hat there is the cape and this is a very easy game to do with any of the keywords that you have if, as long as you've got the pictures you do exactly the same you can do this with words you can do this with pictures you can do this with shapes whatever you can get as creative as you want to so thank you guys for watching have a look at the bottom of the description for a link to some of the other videos and give me a like on this one Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.